Welcome to another episode of Conversation with a Risk Taker and today, oh man. yo, I'm happy to have this one. We got Jordan in the building. Big up, man. What you I'm looking at the camera, are you? Look you. at me, look at you. me. Look yeah, at man. You. Nah, big up, man. Thanks for coming down. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Everything good? They got risk takers. Yeah, yeah, You yeah, know, yeah. we've been risk takers. <laughs> Come on, that's, that's how I wanted to get you on the platform. I'm, I'm, I'm only yeah. trying to interview risk takers. That's why it's called Conversation with a Risk Taker. You get me? I love it, bro. All right, cool. So, how I start these usually is, how did you get your name? But... That's your birth name, isn't it? Yeah, man. So, doesn't really make sense to ask that, but what I will ask is... No, I want you to ask me that, because I like explaining about my name. No, well, all right, I would say, how did you get your name, but obviously your parents must have gave you, innit? Yeah, but I want to talk about it anyway, because I you know what it. it is, yeah? I love my name, do you know what I mean? Mm. Can I call it Jordan, and my dad named me after the River Jordan. Okay. Which is, um... Is that in Egypt? A very famous river, yeah, it's in Jordan. It's a very famous river because that's where um, John the Baptist... Yeah, yeah. Uh, baptized everyone for the first time years ago yeah, and, he, yeah. and he declared that Jesus was coming mm -hmm. so that's why when people get baptized they call it baptized because yeah, of John yeah. the Baptist yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got named after that really you know what I'm saying okay, okay. so why did you choose to why did you choose to keep your birth name rather than coming up with some random rap name because I just felt like that's who I am in it I'm Jordan do you know what I mean bro I don't want you no, know, I'm always gonna be myself and not change. I didn't want to like have a normal ego. Mm. Why should just be Jordan? That's my name, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, obviously, I started rapping when I'm like 25, mm. so they didn't want to come out with like just make up a yeah scene, a name, scene name. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Unless it was an organic nickname as a kid, yeah. like what's gonna cut? So I wanted to be Jordan and just yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, me yeah. in it, so it's me. People know it's me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like the authenticity reason, you didn't want to just come up with some random and be some yeah, mixed yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. I should be Jordan in it, cause that's who I am in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right then, so you're from Salford, yeah? Yeah, man. From Salford, uh, Salford in Manchester? Or is it a different yeah, well, place? Look, where we are now, literally, uh, we're on Castlefield on the back streets there, so one street away, you're in Salford. Yeah. Do you get that? It's like mad, so it is Manchester Town Centre now, and it is Salford one street away. Mm. So what happened years ago is it's a long history lesson, but we've got a cathedral, so any sitter, it's an old um, Victorian law, whatever, any, any city that gets a cathedral any any place that has a cathedral yeah, yeah. has to be a city okay can't yeah. be a town yeah, yeah so it gets so it's the city of salford yeah, yeah, yeah even though when it was called the city there was nothing there yeah, do you yeah, know yeah. what i mean but so yeah, so man. so 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 it's actually something different to manchester it's not manchester nah it's not like it is yeah bro we're still manchester do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. bro like come on bro i'm like how do i explain it bro only everyone from around there knows do you know what i mean like it's still Manchester, but we're Salford. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, you're only like one, two streets away, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're in Salford. So you wanted to make sure that people knew it's Salford and yeah, not just Manny. Of course, because yeah. we've got our own like we've got our own thing as well. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Obviously, we are Manchester. Everyone from Salford loves Manchester. Yeah. We're integrated one thing. Do you know what I mean? But still, you know, Salford. We've got our own little ways. You yeah. meet someone, you know they're from Salford. How can you tell the difference between like, like South Manny, Salford, North Manny? Um, because like if you meet someone from South Manor, yeah. like there's a bit more um, different ethnicities and that round yeah, there, yeah, a bit more yeah. out there, a bit more like it's proper South underwear, yeah, North yeah. Manor. It's still as rough and stuff, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. Blake Lecolis, Monsell and Colts, but like a bit more like it's just it's just different, I can't explain it. Yeah, like yeah. you could know if you sat two people there, you could know. Yeah, Even yeah. though it's North Manor, South Manor, it'd be like different worlds. Yeah, and yeah. then Salford's its own little world as okay. well. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously everyone chats and everyone's everyone's cool, but like, just me, you can just tell. But yeah, I just wanted everyone to know, like, yeah, man, I'm Salford, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Especially yeah. Little Luton, I'm pushing that heavy, that's my town, do you know yeah. what I mean? We're from the swamp, bro. So, 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 what's different about Salford to the rest of the, the rest of the world, basically? So, oh, I think it's just like a mad city that's just, oh, how do I explain it, man? But just us, you know what I mean? Like a yeah. lot of people in Salford as well never really go out of Salford. Everyone okay. just has chills with Salford people. Yeah, yeah. Goes out with Salford. Everyone's someone's cousin or second, yeah. third, fucking. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's is it kind of a community? Yeah, okay. everyone knows everybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, we'll pause. 
you but in, in your music yeah it sounded like you kind of teared up Salford bro like you and your section kind of made Salford hot would I be right in saying not, not just us though okay, you know what I mean okay. we've got to pay homage a lot of other people done it before us as well yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean yeah. but for this generation right now yeah of course it seems like on, you, you number one you're putting Salford on, Salford on the map because I don't know any other Salford rappers are there any yeah 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 yeah, there's other sofa rappers, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, but no one ain't putting it on the map like you, I'll be honest, bro. Because nah, no one can. No one can. Why do you reckon that is, though? I don't know. I'm not biased against anyone. It's all love. I'm a big man in it, bro. Yeah, I yeah. don't have, like, them little kid tendencies, like, do you yeah. know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'd support anyone, even if they're clowns or mm -hmm. not. Like, if they're from the city and they're doing well, I'd put, you know, I would help them. You know what I yeah, mean, bro? Yeah, oh, oh. All right, you're saying if, even if they're clowns, yeah, but you don't sound in your music like you support clowns, bro. You sound like you're here for the real. That's what I just said to you, though, like... Even if the clowns and then they make but they make music about the self and what they're doing and what's yeah. going on, then I'm gonna support it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But if it's a fool speaking about something that's not going on or something, mm. I can't support that. Do yeah. you know what I mean? You know, you got to remember, Salford's a small place, bro, mm. and so is Manchester. Even all, even like, well, not just I don't mean Salford. I mean, you know, the Grafton Circle, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, but people can't say it, my friend. That's I can't say it, bro. Yeah. I've been around this all my life, and that's from fucking here to other countries. It's a very small circle, bro, in this world, yeah. Of the grafters. Of grafters. Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody knows everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ireland, Scotland, that you can't just, you can't just say, you say things, oh, I've done this, or I've been here, or oh, I'm this, because cause you're not. Yeah. And obviously people might be, but and there's, there's levels, do you know what I mean, bro? Like, shh, I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it, do you know what I mean, bro? But here's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Go back to that, bro. Yeah. So let's 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 stay with your like uh, family origin and that. Are you Irish, yeah? Yeah, yeah bro. Like, Could you know what part of Ireland in that? Yeah, Dublin, bro. Oh, in Dublin. Yeah. yeah, all my family in Dublin. Okay. Oh, you still got family over there? Yeah, of course. I'm oh. going. I'm going there on um, Tuesday, bro, to shoot a video. Okay. Me, big nasty, and Maverick Saber, big up them, man, my brothers. Swear so down. Yeah, man, oh. shooting a big single from a tape over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good, man. That's good, man. That's good. So we say, um, yeah. Have you, so have you been over there before? Surely, yeah. You've been of over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you visit your family over there now, yeah? Nah, not really. I didn't really be in touch with family and that, that. So what'd you go over there for? Just to chill, like, type of thing? Yeah. Or certain... Yeah, <laughs> 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 Alright, cool, cool. Alright, so... In a lot of your music, you talk about jail. Yeah. yeah. What was the first age you went to jail? Like 13. 13, what for? A secure units. Um, burglaries. Okay. So whole council houses, even millionaires roll who's town. Big yards in there. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So what what got you into that thirteen? Was it influences like I don't know, bro, you know, it's just when people ask me that, do you know what it is, bro? We're just born in it, do you know what I mean? We don't even know like how that we are trying to be bad or try to be anything. We just out getting money, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up here, bro, that's just how it is, man. We're out robbing and whatever so, like you know, so, so it's in it's like it's just instilled in us, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, bro? So, uh, you, you grew up with uh, six siblings, yeah? Yeah, bro. All right, cool. You grew up with six siblings. Did every single one of those siblings turn to the road? Yeah, bro. E even the females? Yeah, bro. My so, sister's a gangster, bro. So <laughs> All of them, bro. Everyone turned to the road. Ask anyone about my sisters. They don't romp, bro. Okay. Man. So, so, do you reckon that was just like the, the household you came up in, it was just normal? That's just how it was, you get me, bro? My mum's coming on her own, seven kids. It's just not it's not an easy place to move to. Got a lot of trouble, do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever, so I had to deal with a lot of stuff. So do you reckon you could have just uh, got a normal job, done a nine to five thing? Do you reckon that was possible? Who knows, bro? It's not my mum's fault. My mum's the best woman in the world. She's yeah, yeah. done a, oh, she's always done the best for us and made sure we had everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is what it is, bro. I'm growing up in these environments. That's just how it goes. That's why I call us the lost town, bro. We're the lost town, bro. You get me, let alone the forgotten children, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's no one, nothing left there, bro. Yeah. No one don't care about there. No one even knows about there. Yeah. So for me to have a voice from there, like, I've already won. Do you get yeah, me, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether I don't succeed in music now or, you know, God forbid something happens to me today, tomorrow, bro, I would die happy, bro. Because yeah, yeah, for me, yeah. I've already heavily won, bro. Yeah, yeah, Came from yeah. the swamp, bro. Yeah, so. From little, little, no music culture, no nothing. And the way that man's been really living, yeah, yeah. and what I mean, bro, and it's not have, a joke, and, bro. And to have such su such a fan base and all the millions of views, like if you're all right, cool. So statistically, you've done over a hundred million views independently. Yeah, yeah bro. From Salford, which has never been done before. Yeah. Thank like, you, bro. How does that? How does that? How did that make you feel knowing that you've got such a such a voice from a place what's so silent? It's the best, brother. And you know what it is for me, like 
being accepted as me. Mm. Do you get me, bro? Don't have to like try be nobody else. You know, can be accepted as me because I know what my supporters are like. Mm -hmm. Are like everyone is like me. I know my fan base is understanding me, and they're from the same kind of background. Mm -hmm. So and I can just like always be myself. I don't have to worry about how I look. I don't have to have to care because you know my fans. You know. We're from the fucking, we're actually from slums, bro. It's not a joke when people say it like, yeah, from the slum, I'm from a hood. And we are from slums, the slum of slums, do you know what I mean, bro? So, for me to make it out of there, I know that every slum's got me. That's why I go anywhere, bro, do you yeah. know what I mean? Birmingham, where you're from, bro, got pure love up there, shout out my brum friends. Go there, one up, bro, do you know what I mean? Like, London, anywhere, I go to any area. That's not, I'm no gangster vibe or thinking I'm bad. I know things could happen to me, could happen to anybody. But, bro, I don't fear that because... If I can't ever go there and do them things, then I'm not the person who I want to be. Because yeah, yeah, I want to be like, you know, the people's champ, bro. Yeah, yeah, you get me? I really do this for the slums. I really do. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so are you are you considered a Salford's champ then, really? Of course, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say that's the Manchester's one. champ. Salford's yeah, all right. Not England yeah, yeah, champ. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere in the north, bro. Mm -hmm. England's champ. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. that. Do you get me, bro? Yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. I've not even started, bro. I'm in neutral right now. <laughs> I've, I've only just got off license. You know, I'm just, even though I've still got these whoever on my back, yeah. ever there, I don't want to speak about them. Yeah. I'm taking my songs down and this and that, whatever, yeah. blocking my shows. Don't let that affect me. Like, I've got no license. Yeah. I finally got my head clear. Yeah. But I'm in neutral. I'm about to drop into first mm -hmm. and drop my tape. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. I'm going to drop into second yeah, and drop yeah. the Amazon box set. Yeah, then I'm going to yeah. drop into third. <laughs> boom. Movies take over. Yeah, 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 then yeah, when yeah. I get four or five, it's, it's bro, when I touch sport mode in January, yeah, 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 bro, yeah, 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 gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, I've got big plans, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be all some little street gangster rapper. Mm -hmm. Fuck that, bro. I want to go now, learn this game how it works, and then create all my own shit, mm -hmm. and just bring in everybody you were like and yeah, yeah. from around the area. And do you get me, bro? Give people jobs and be like, right, this is our own shit. Let's move. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what you're doing here, bro, and how you built your brand. Mm -hmm. How you built, you've got your team here, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're coming to all the cities, like, hey, why I've done the interview, bro, respect what you're doing, I respect things that. like this, bro, yeah. you know what I mean? And you're giving man a platform where you're not just chasing clout, mm. you're not just like, oh yeah, you got beef with him, yeah. oh yeah, has this got this? Yeah, yeah. And more time, it's these little weird podcast guys who have never even lived this life, exactly, yeah, yeah. and they're just asking things and that thing, it's so cringy, yeah. bro. <laughs> so when I can see a real person like yourself who's genuine, trying to give artists a platform to speak about stuff, be taken serious i've got to support that bro I appreciate that's that. why i'm here so big up to take risks as well I appreciate that man. Mm. cool so let's go back to like jail and that yeah so you went to jail for burglaries and that 30 when did you come out i was oh, like 40. i had a secure i have a secure you yeah 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 do you reckon any of that like going going and being locked away so young kind of like played with your mind <sighs> you know what i couldn't say bro but all i can say is I just got caught in a cycle, bro, and that's all it was, like, in, out, in, out. Even till now, I've just come back out again. How, how many times have you been in jail? I don't know, 20 or something. Well, all for, obviously, bear recalls, etc., etc. We'll get yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. all right, let's start, let's start where we was, yeah. So, we're saying, came out at 14. Yeah. Was you back on the same stuff, or what? Yeah, like? same day. S same day, as soon as you same landed? Same day. Okay, okay. I got out of Hassock Field, 2007, mm. we started 2008. My mum come and got me in County Durham, drove home for two and a half hours, got dropped off on the estate. You know, half an hour later, I was out in a stolen boat, flapping <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? Straight like, back to it. That's how it was, bro. Do you yeah, know what I mean? I hear that, I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. Um, all right, then, cool. So, when did you go to jail after that? I went to jail after that, bro, for like so mad robberies and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? What age, what age, kind of? Like 15, then I was there till I was like 17, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. man. So, in, in jail, yeah. Those times there, did you experience anything that did you see anything in jail that was a bit like, whoa, like what's going on? Bro, you see that every day, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially in the juvies. Yeah, Back yeah. then, bro, like the way that we got treated and that of them screws, it's not a joke. Like what like how, like what kind of things? We was all fifteen to seventeen, like bro, they were terrorizers, bro. Mm. Like it's not a joke, bro, like literally. Like you just got like sadistic men mm. who are bored with their lives and older men. Then they're taking things out on us when they see us like on the wing and we're young with nice shoes and we're happy there. Yeah, like, yeah. bro, do you know how many beatings I took, bro? Yeah. Like, bad beatings, bro. Fully, like, arguing with man at my door, the screws, that I like, back in a minute, coming back. It's fee, innit? How many beatings? Bro, remember, you nearly broke your back, fee? Yeah, yeah, Yo, I'm serious, so. Many, it's coming big men, bro, cracking my door, bro. Punching, kicking, you get me? Nose broke, bro, fucking. 
everything, bro. I asked my mum how many times they put me in hospital, bro. Serious? No joke. Do you reckon that? Do you reckon that was uh, like you're doing like, or do you reckon it was? Do you reckon like you done something mad? For them to react like that or no, piss them off. Or no, it is in the Jeevas. I, I think I got it so bad there because obviously, like, I was like always rebelling, yeah, rebelling yeah, yeah, against yeah. authority, and you know, I would help other people, and I'd be like, "Fuck that! We're not letting them get away with this." And you know, I'm not an innocent, bro. You know, I attacked them myself. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Free Ryan Mac is only three weeks. Like, you know what I mean? This is what we do. Yeah, like, yeah. The screws beating my friend up, bro, and they get. Yeah, and yeah, they just yeah. they never witnessed nothing like that before. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of loyalty, they, do you know what I'm saying? They used to like put up and shut up. Like you'd, yeah, you'd, they used just... to mind us listening. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really yeah. snapping brushes off the red. Yeah, so yeah. that was it for me for the next two years. Yeah, bro. I, onto, you. onto me. But I'm talking like five, six fully grown men coming into me, bro. Being up at seven Eight o'clock at night, a 15 year old kid, bro. I'm punching me for half an hour, bro. Eye socket smash, nose mash, left in the pad three days screaming on my bell nurse nurse no nurse bro bleeding out do you know what i mean not giving me food got my friends stamping out butties and crackers on that bro and then putting them under the door in envelopes bro yeah, yeah, like that's yeah. not a joke yeah, the man's been yeah. through millions of them situations since yeah, yeah, yeah. but now it's like when people ask does it affect you i go nah nah it doesn't and the jail doesn't affect you no it doesn't but now getting older as a man i'm only realizing it does bro yeah, yeah. i can't got much life skills Okay, so like because because you because when everyone else is creating life skills as they're getting older, you're in jail. Right. So the life skills you kind of get is through jail, which is not as many life skills. Right. Else exactly. Yeah. So we'll come out and think. My mum says like last time I just got out after four years straight. She says you just walked out back in the house like you've been to the shop. Yeah, mum, you okay? Right. Boom. Clothes on. Back out. Mm. Two days later, oh, madness has happened. Mm. Do you know what I mean? My mum's on me like, what's up with you? Yeah. You've yeah, just yeah. done four years. Yeah. Like, she says, you don't realise it, you come out and we think, yeah, we're just back to normal. Mm. But it's not like that, bro. Mm. Just because you've got money and we're around, you know, time change and people change, bro. Mm. The sad thing is, I feel like a stranger sometimes in my own town. Serious? Yeah, bro, because I've been away that long, everyone that did know. Yeah. They've had kids, they grew up, everyone's grew into adults, yeah, yeah. but I've been still stuck in my adolescence. Yeah, yeah, Do you get me, bro? So, like, jail... You know, it will affect you mentally, it will affect you everything, but I'm going to give advice to anyone, I'm going to say, bro, in later on in your life, you're going to see the effects. Because I might be nice now and be sat somewhere comfortable and be chilling and, you know, can get whatever we want, go out, whatever, whatever, do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah. But then you realise, bro, like, you're bored and your head's fucked, you're still paranoid, you're still, no matter where I go, or you're up in London, you're in big label meetings, like... Can't relax, bro. On edge, still yourself. So what? What? What would? What would like the top three things that you've noticed that has affected? Just the one thing you said was um, what was the one thing? The one thing you said was uh, people skills and that. Not yeah. people skills, sorry, uh, life skills. Mm. What? What's the other two things that you'd say has affected you? To be honest, bro, probably like um, you know the word that gets used a lot. I was chatting with Morrison about this the other day, actually. And, People like to down use this word, but PTSD in it, bro. Well, From like, that. you know, even till this day now, till the other day, bro, like I've got these armed police coming at me, bro, different now. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but yeah, it's yeah. not a joke, bro. Yeah, yeah, no. Like armed police and, and uh, you know, from a young age, bro, coming through my house, coming from my older brothers, putting guns to my mum, putting guns to my sisters. Then I grow up, they're coming through the door for me. Do you get me, bro? I see my mum get gassed twice. They're arresting my disabled mum for shootings. This is the, I was to try to get me to go guilty to shit. Do right, cool, you cool, get me, bro? Cool. Now we're now we're on that, little rats, bro. Now we're on that, that, that conversation. That's what that's what I wanted to ask you. How did they justify being able to? How did they? What did they say was the reason for arresting you, mum? Bro, not the stat. Did you see how they went in on my mum? No, I didn't. I didn't see that. Twenty-two armed police, bro. Yeah. Shields, yeah. boom, front and back door yeah. on a fit, bro. You want to talk about? It? Look at goosebumps. Yeah, well, lucky yeah, that yeah. I didn't one of them yeah, bro yeah, yeah, yeah. so <coughs> um got in on her bro in the bed bang all guns lasers to her and that dragged her out of bed kept her for three days bro in the station interviewed her on like three attempt murders um pure madness yeah. bro they interviewed her on that like, pure hot shit and she's yeah. an old woman yeah, yeah, yeah but my mum's mafia as well bro you know my mum didn't speak once in it so yeah okay, she didn't yeah, even yeah. give a name bro so what, didn't speak three you days mean? didn't even give a name Legend. come on bro yeah, 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 mafia also so, bro. so so do you reckon do you reckon the, the stuff your mum installed in you, or the stuff is how your mum was, do you reckon she installed that in you? Yeah, kind and the thing. way I've seen them treat my mum, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. and the way I've seen the council, sort of council and treat my mum. Put her mom. in the papers. But not just that, bro, take our houses from since I was a kid. Mm. They've evicted us, bro, like four times, bro. 
Do you know what I mean? Because of the magistrates. Saying your sons are committing crime. Yeah. Well, we've gone out, come on, the house is boarded up. It's not a joke, but they've left us with nothing. So, for me, bro, in the situation I'm coming from, people might see me as a bit out there, a bit wild, but they don't know why, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. fuck that. I've seen my mum and that and all us have nothing, bro. Yeah, yeah. We've had nowhere to live. The time I've seen everyone struggle in my family, bro. I've had these people harassing me, taking me back to jail for shit I've not even done. Mm. And a lot of people slander the police, but I'm not just trying to slander the police, bro. I'm just speaking facts about yeah. what's gone on with me yeah, and yeah. in this area. Do you reckon? Do you reckon it was? Do you reckon it was like the McCann name that just made the police want to just keep coming at it? Do you know what, bro? I'm not an angel at the same time. Mm -hmm. In a way, they might have been just doing the job. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah, me, bro, because you know, you know, it was a bit crazy, but. At the same time, bro, the way that they treated my mum and that was, mm. and my sisters was different. That just made me like, like that, ah, bro, that was it from a young age. Like, even with the system, mm. even with every jail I go, like, anyone can vouch for this. I'm not just coming on here chatting shit. Mm. Anyone who's been in jail with me, anyone who's been away for the last 10 years, like, bro, I've fighted this system, bro. Like, properly, bro. Mm. Like, head up, you versus the yeah, system. Bro. Yeah, bro. Trust yeah, me, yeah. I never took one, one bad up, never mm. like anything. And I've gone to war with these screws, gone to war in every jail I've been. Like, to not accept this. I want to be treated how they say we should be treated. Yeah, yeah. So when they don't stick to the rules, I don't stick to the rules. Okay, fair enough. Because I'm sick of this, bro. I'm sick yeah. of the system. When I say fuck the system, it's not just police screws. Yeah. It's just everything how yeah, it is yeah. as a collective. Yeah, yeah. And I know that a lot of people don't understand. But for them who do understand, that's mm -hmm. what I do it for. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, bro? The certain things that I've been through, it just made me like, fuck the police, bro. Mm -hmm. And fuck them, come on. I'll speak to you about talking like, I've heard that. like oh. what it is? Yeah. Oh, bro, it's, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Like tornado. So they talk. So after after the protests, they've tornadoed you. Tornadoed me from that segregation and took me to HMP Liverpool, which is Walton. Yeah, yeah. Okay, explain yeah. the tornado for me, please. So tornado, like when you're like being a threat to the prison, and when you're going crazy, or when you've got a knife and you sell you for threatening, or any of them kind of scenarios, they go and get um, a special team in. So they get this protective body wear, all stab proof, they get helmets on, they get black gloves, and they're six, seven of them come trained, marching, bro. Shield Shields, bro. Them tall, them yeah, tall shields. Yeah, I wish I had the footage to show you so people knew, like, then they come, bro, you're in this little cell now, sh smaller than this van, bro. You're here waiting for them, you know they're outside, yeah, yeah. and they give you a chance to say, you're going to walk or not. You know what I mean? God has been with us. In terms of say, all right, I'll come with you. Yeah, so then you're gonna walk and be escorted out of that prison and took to another one. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you God is my witness, yeah, yeah. bro, and everyone who's been in the block with me, if I'm lying, like I wouldn't lie, bro. All my friends have been there. Do you know what I mean? Like I've seen everybody walk, bro. I'm a soldier, but yeah. I tell them take me. Yeah, okay. Do you know what Not I mean? walking. So, nah, bro. So, you feel like less of a man if he was to walk, though. Yeah, because these these men have been fucking me up all week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've so had war with these. Yeah, yeah. I'm, and then and now it's the time. I'm not gonna shit it. Yeah. I've already been beat up off them. And I'm not gonna walk, so I'm getting twisted up regardless. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather make them carry me. And then what they do is, bro, they just get to the back wall now, waiting for them. They just crack that door, bro, and just boom, 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 boom. Before you know what's happened, they're just in on top of your shields, smacking you up to a fuck, bro. And then, bro, it's jeez, bro, it's an experience you don't want to experience. So, you. all right, cool. So you see, you see them, you see them smacking you up in that. Obviously, that's illegal. They're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Right? But. What is that out of their own personal like vendetta against you? Like they just now, don't like you. They'd so. be trained in it to be like, when you go in this cell, mm. anything could happen. Okay. So they just come in hundred mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought yeah, forget yeah. I got tornado back to back, yeah. I got tornado that I got to Preston. Mm. Then a few months later I tornado that Preston to Walton. A few months later I tornado from Walton to Armleth. And what did you did you And then from sorry last and then from Armley to Leicester? That's yeah, six yeah, yeah. tornadoes. And, and what, you never walked once? In a year, did a fuck. You never walked once? Did a fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ask anyone, that's the Leicester man, the Brum man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Nottingham jails, you're crazy, bro. So that's why I'm so intense for this, bro. And like, after going through such madness, even now I've only just got back out of jail, like, constantly going through that cycle, you know? I'm just coming out angry and that again. And I'm like, probably making music that shows that. Mm. So I'm just like, fuck the world, man. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the system sort of thing, because I've been through all that and people might watch it and think, why is a madman? But they don't know what I've been through, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it needs to even still be humble and have a clean heart, even after all the mad shit I've been through, bro. Like, you know, that's how you know God's doing something with me, bro, because fucking I should be a madman right now. Do you know what I mean? That's, what, that's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say, that. But for you to still have your head screwed on and then, and then on top of that, to be doing what 90% of these rappers cannot be doing mm. after what you've been through with a harder background than 90% exactly. of them, 
That's a big and achievement. I'm on my own as well, bro. Yeah, yeah, literally. No music management, no label. Oh, you ain't got a manager? No, nothing, nothing. I've never had a manager. Don't you think you should get one? I think a manager called me. No, maybe not a label, because you can do it by yourself, but a manager at least. Nah, I hear you, but. And I'm not just trying to be like, oh, I've done it about a manager. Well, it is. I've met a lot of managers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've met a lot of teams yeah, throughout yeah. my music career so far. And like, everyone's cool in that bro. But I know what? I've got my own direction. Mm. I'm quite unique. Mm. I know when these people meet me, they don't really know how to take me. Mm. And they don't accept me for who I am. Nobody does, bro. What, do you reckon people are trying to, people will try and change you? Yeah, and say, bro. Oh, make this type of music. Be or... like this, dress yeah, yeah, like this, yeah, yeah, be yeah. a bit like this. And I, I just <sighs> see it and I look and I think, the most of this music scene gets messed up by managers, yeah. by wrong managers, because yeah. they'll be like to kids, yeah, do this, yeah, do that, because they want to do a video mm -hmm. and they want to make money, which is respect. But I'm an artist, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's why yeah. I only bring songs out like every now and then. Mm -hmm. I just be at my own pace. Yeah, yeah, I look yeah, yeah. through the streets and everything else. I've been influenced off of other people all my life. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, bro? What does Mozzie say? Misled by the blind, trying to find myself mm -hmm. like that. So true. Yeah, so, yeah, all yeah. my life, I've been like that through street guys, through everyone. Believe in a family, and then you get to a certain age, and you're like, wow. So, with music, I'm not about to go and do the same thing yeah, 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 and yeah. trust someone else's opinion because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm me. So, I just thought, let me try to do this. If I can't do it, I don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it's worked out good. So, big up everyone who's worked with me as well from the start. Do you know what I mean? Big up all the streaming platforms, Link Up, Grind Day 11, Mixtape Madness, big up all the, all the teams over that there. They help, man. Big, big up, I'm just bait. Who's that? <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> big up I'm just Pete. Big up like everyone I've worked with, you know what I mean? Big up Morrison. Oh, everyone, the whole like, you know, who's got me here where I am, do you know what I mean? I appreciate it. And every city that I go, everyone who's shown me love, you know, big up them as well. Because really, bro, they've just supported the journey differently. And I love it, man. Yeah. So, uh, in one of your songs, yeah, I don't know if it was 27 Club. I'm not yeah. sure which song it was here, but you was you basically saying that you still gotta kinda be out here. Like music's not necessarily taking over the financial part of your life here. Yeah? But however, you're getting milli views, streams is mad, blah blah blah. You're definitely making some money, bro. 100%. Yeah. So don't you reckon you could just make you could live off music or you don't reckon it's enough? Nah, it is enough, you know, bro. I'm like you know, I don't know how to say this, but I've got to say it because it's real, but bro, believe it or not, I'm literally um Everything I get, bro, I split with my people as well. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. a lot of Americans influence. Everyone goes, yeah, bring in the guys. Yeah. People don't do that. Mm, yeah. America they don't, in England they don't. I've seen it. Man, are selfish, especially yeah, yeah, rapping. Yeah. Everyone's competing yeah. with their own people. One person's shining, everyone else. I'm is. different, bro. Whereas it's not that, bro. Do you know what I mean? You know, you ask any of my brothers in prison. You ask my family. You ask my mom. Ask my sister. Ask my nieces, my nephews. Ask my friends here with me, bro. Like this is for us. Do you know what I mean? Not just trying to be like, oh, I'm a proper nice guy, but it is for us. Yeah, We've yeah. all been through this together. So every time I do get a thing, obviously I take the majority, mm -hmm. I give my mum some, and then the rest gets split between the team who's with me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I've seen a bit of money, I've got a bit of money, but, you know, it's been better to be able to look after my people and my yeah, mum. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? And this yeah. is only the start, so. Yeah. And I hear you about how I come off the road, but for me, I feel like, you know, even if I made a billion pound, whatever, like, you ne I never can, bro. Like you can never come off the road. Nah, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Nah, nah, come up here now and be God, like, man. yeah, I'm off the road. Nah, I can be off the you, road. If you said you know, made a billion pounds, I can be off the road. I can be off the road. What I'm saying is, it might be off the road, but I'm still gonna run into problems. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is for me with yeah, certain yeah. things for life. Yeah, yeah. I could leave here now, turn this corner now, or whatever. Do you know what I mean, bro? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I accept that. I know that, and I'm cool. prepared for that. Let me, saying, let me just finish. Yeah, sorry, let me finish. On. I'm prepared for that. Do you know what I mean? So, and I still put myself in that thing every day. I'm around every day, bro. Every single day, you know, I'm around and here, I'm in the city centre, oh, no, I'm going places not to show off because I want to do that, it's the places I want to be. You know, and I know that people don't accept me, people are jealous of me, they're thinking, look at this, how is he doing this, or oh, this, that, or the other. And you know, people want to try, come up off me, I'll try, try some on, do you know what I mean? But I expect that anywhere I go, and I still go out there like, so what I'm saying about coming off the roads, I could be at a restaurant in five years, mm. and some not bed from time ago or someone's summit and it's hard to not be myself bro yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna let somebody violate me do you know what i mean all right cool all right cool so that's that's saying that it is what it is forever on a, on a, in terms of like street politics i don't want it to be like that. yeah i wish yeah. it was cool and yeah. i could just do music now everything's sweet but believe yeah. me bro 
this world ain't sweet. Yeah, yeah. And when you do music or anyone out there does, believe me, a lot of shit's gonna come with it. So you need to prepare yourself. It's not all all happy there for every congratulator. They send haters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, as much as you can be like, yeah, I've got a bit of money, yeah, I've got a bit of fame, and you think it's all rosy and gym, mate, it is not. Yeah, yeah. This is where you need to prepare for yourself yeah, yeah. for war and prepare for serious things, what's going to come, because you work hard for something, and someone's going to try to take it from you. So, you know, you got to stay ready out here, bro. Are, are you allowed Are you allowed back in Salford now? Yeah, I'm allowed, yeah. How long was you been for? Five years. Five years, mm. and it's, it's lifted now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Got lifted a couple of months ago. Okay. How did that make you feel when it was lifted? Did you go back to Salford? Like, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still went there anyway. I just yeah. couldn't be like seen, do you know what I mean? Or posting and stuff. Yeah, but I don't know if we can say, can we say that? Yeah, fuck <laughs> up. That's it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, it feels good to be back, you know, being able to go back to Little Luton. We've been there for years and that's who I did the music for, so. Yeah. I got to go and celebrate it everywhere else, but couldn't with the kids and that round there. Yeah, yeah. That's why I made that last song, Little Luton. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. like a little dedication. So everyone from around there, everyone that's in the videos from around there, and like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a sick video as well. Yeah, oh. that was like just to pay, like, yeah, man, pay homage. Like, I've not forgot about you. I've not changed on you. I love you. That's who I am. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not the whole of who I am now. I'm changing, bro. So I transition into a musician properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And show everyone there is a better way. You know what I mean, bro? I'm not just trying to be some inspiration on soccer, but bro, I've been through a lot. If anyone can talk on these interviews, it's me, bro. Especially about this street shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give advice to kids like, yo, this is what's going to happen when you do music as a street guy. Yeah. Especially for me. You're going to feel like a bit of a tip if you do it right when no one's done it from the area before. And then everyone's going to change on your, you know, you're going to fall out. That's just how it is in life. No one likes someone outgrowing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because got to accept that as a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you're a musician, footballer, Everyone's gonna experience this. It's called change, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's whether you let that swallow you up and don't change, mm -hmm. or you be like, well, fuck everyone there. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go forward, bro. Mm -hmm. And then in a few years, people will see my plan. Mm -hmm. So I don't want my flowers now. Yeah. I know I just gotta keep working hard. And in a couple of years, people will be like, rah. Yeah. Bro, my man smashed it. I didn't give a fuck what nobody thinks. I'm me, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When, when, did you, when did you start to see people changing? Fuck no, man, like, Probably straight away, and it's not just you know, people don't do it on purpose, bro. I can be real enough to say if it would have happened to one of my mates, I could have been a bit like that with him. You know, I wouldn't really want to see you know, someone just go not involving you, or you see like your family members feel like, Why have you not shouted us for this? Why have you not shouted us for that? But I'm like, I'm going doing my music, yeah. not even spoke to you for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you're doing music or you're doing something, everyone pops up, yeah. but I'm like, Right, I don't even really know you. Yeah. Even to this day, everyone minds this Instagram and that, bro, go on my phone now. Don't even have the app on my phone, bro. Do you care about social network site? Yeah. I have it on there to promote music. Yeah. Thousands of people have been like, trying to get all the on and stuff. But you ain't got my number. You don't want to come to my mum's. I don't fucking want to speak to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got no time for no one who's not my people yeah, yeah, yeah. or who's not been supporting me. Don't try to pop up now years later like, yo, remember me? Fuck you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck your family, mate. <laughs> Shout me for dough. Fuck, yeah. bro. Got my own struggles out here. I'm just trying to be me and enjoy life, bro. I don't eat on no one, I don't watch no one. I just want a bit of peace and go and do my music, bro. People want to leave me alone, bro, because anyone who gets in the way of that, bro, do you know what I mean? Mm. All right then, cool. So, like, on a slightly deeper one, yeah, have you had to battle any, like, depression or any, like, kind of mental health dealing with all the things you've dealt with type of thing? I don't know, you know, like, probably, mm. you know, a lot of people do say it or don't they depressed, like, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not a psychiatrist, but you know, if I if I could give an opinion, I would say definitely, bro. Yeah, you've been depressed from a young age and been through what their term of depression is. Yeah. yeah. Times a fucking hundred. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like being from a young age, contained and up and down the country, new people constantly, new places, having to start again, having to fight again, coming out, no one there, not knowing anybody, and yeah, yeah, yeah. just doing daft graphs and. Shh, like that's roots to money because you think you need fast money yeah, yeah, but then I get that money and blow it on partying girls and then have nothing like you don't have actually have no forward plan do you know what I mean but I've been depressed enough time especially going back to jail there as being myself for years and building myself up good reputation and you no know, doing well and you no know, it might do bad stuff but everyone will tell you I'm a good person a fair person you know what I mean I'm not a bully or nothing then like 
Doing my music, I'm flying with it. And they had some mad dramas and that, and my sister and that, and then a lot of stuff. She's gone through a lot of shit. They got my sister trees on my hand, and a sick recovery now. My sister is a Spartan, and a lot of stuff, family, and I had a lot of shit going on. And I was like partying, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, that was mental? Like, yeah, but then, like, even as for people here, I would not speak to these. Sorry. I'm saying, you're just trying to set me up, bro. Yes. You might have pulling beaters out on my own people every other day, bro. Seriously? Going to the houses two in the morning, asking, like, going to houses. Saying to my people, yo, you setting me up. Yeah. No one's setting me up, bro. Whipped a beater out on my boy, fucking elbow, dragging him out, everybody out of bed. You setting me up. Mm. Whatever, like, paranoid then. I'm going on mad benders, bro, on my own. Like, I've, I've never been that person. Yeah, Anyone yeah, knows yeah. me knows I've never took drugs and parted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing, bro, I'm waking up. Viral, bro. I've got videos, bouncers smacking me out, bro. I'm like, how has this happened to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me, bro. What, 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 he's off something, basically. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to try even talk about drugs, but you know what, bro, you know. I never had drugs all my life when you get out, you know, especially with these celebrities and that. Mm. That's when I've seen it the most, bro. Yeah, 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 like when yeah. he's shagging them bits and that, but all of them are on coke. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm ended up just getting coked up with these yeah, gals. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've never done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? The next thing, I'm running around town on my own. Yeah. I'm popping with music, everyone knows me, everyone's shouting that. I'm paranoid just getting off on my own. Yeah. I'm waking up, bro, I'm getting smacked out by bouncers. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I can't even remember it. Yeah. How can these things happen to me? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, I've yeah. been me all my life. Like, the amount of shame what that brought on me and my people and my family, yeah. it made me fix up, bro. Wait, wait so it what, woke me what, the fuck up. What was shameful about that, though, in terms of... What? Because, obviously, bro, we've got a lot of pride in it, yeah, bro. Yeah. We're as a rapper, we're being here, gangster rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you're talking about all this, you've just been knocked out by a bouncer. Mm. Like, it just discredits you. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, it, in the city, it doesn't, because yeah, everyone yeah. knows what's going I on. Say, I don't think... Bro, mm. everyone knows what's going on. But out every weekend, like, you know what I mean, bro? My man, I tell you here now, bro, like, everyone knows me as Madman George. Mm. You know, I might be so famous i don't care i'll be in the local fucking flat party bro yeah, yeah, yeah. like so and in the city we're always fighting my bouncers yeah, yeah. so for me it's minor bro like just because some bouncers smack me mm. and mashed out my head like me and my mates buzz off that yeah, we yeah. play it back yeah, like yeah. yo you held that you, know you what gotta I remember as well yeah. i was intoxicated ever there mm. drugged up falling over mm. but the shame that brought on man to watch it back mm. it made me wake up bro because mm. everyone's well, getting on me like that is not you how's that happen but yeah, bro yeah. you gotta remember I never took these drugs. It's not an excuse for yeah. I'll fight anyone. I fight yeah. it all my life. There's yeah. nobody out here who can say them. I've not fighting them. I've gone to war with anyone. And I mean anyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fuck all these little weird YouTubers and these freaks, yeah. bro. Don't believe the hype, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro? Real people, real problems, yeah. bro. Not that no internet stuff. People who, do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, bro, it was just a thing where it was a big blow. And then after that, it opened the door to all these little weird freaks and, like, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. pouncing, I mean, like, I mean, say this, yeah, yeah, this has happened to me. Oh, yeah, this has happened to me in jail or this or that. And little weirdos online. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm a real guy. You want a problem with me? Don't yeah. put it online. Let me know. And we'll have yeah. a problem that day. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. But as soon as you go online, like, you've already won. Yeah. Anyone who yeah. wants to beef me, you go online, you've won. You've told all the police. You've told yeah. everyone. Yeah. You know, me and no, my people ain't gonna do nothing. And these people know that, bro. They know that. They want a drama with me. They can get hold of someone. Come on, bro. I'm not acting bad. They know what it is. Anyone who's ever had drama with me, I've seen them. I've, I mean, I've gone into the home. I've seen them. I don't care, bro. Anyone up and down the country. So, little fools, though, online, you think they're blagging the fans' heads. The only fans they've got is little year seven kids sat in the bedroom and people who are lost and who don't understand the street. Because I could never be from mine or be that kind of person, bro. You get me, bro? What I respect about that situation is when you addressed it after, you basically said, bro, my man's a McDonald's security guard, bro. I don't need no one going to attack him. Nah, that's bro. what I respect come because, on, bro. as you come said on, about the pride thing. Do you not think, man, couldn't come on? Yeah, of course, that's or what I'm saying. Even in a, that's in a, what, that's why I respect it. Eye, bro. That's you know why I mean? respect it because yeah. you, you actually held people back to say, bro, don't course, go attack this geezer, bro. Like, bro like, course, just leave it there course, and it's not a deal, bro. Whereas I could have used me influence. You could have switched it on him. But at the end of the day, Bro, I find it quite funny now. I could, I could, like, at the time, I could never talk about it like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I've been knocked out off a fucking... You wasn't knocked out. And, and yeah, hell you got hit, bro. And don't forget, man's on his own. Paranoid. Been out for days with beaters out on my own people. I'm running around sound centre, bro. At this time, kicking off with these guys. I watched the video next day, like, how has this happened to me? Yeah. And you got all people making pictures with these fake teeth and all these things. Yeah. Like that. And then it opened the door for like, all these trolls. Yeah, I've yeah. never had that. Yeah. Next thing has got their little weirdos online thinking that they're famous. Yeah. Bro, I'm Jordan McCambro, these need to remember. Mm -hmm. You think one little bounce incident's gonna ruin me? I am me and I'm back out in the city centre every weekend. Yeah. I'm here bro. It's like if you ain't never been smacked by a bouncer, so you've not lived. Because yeah. it's me, it's like, oh look at him, that does not change nothing, bro. I'm a king in my city and I'm me and I'm here every single day. And where is anybody? I can't see no one and I'm here every day. Do you know what I mean?
Do you remember where you was when you got the news? Yeah, man. Where was you? In my living room, bro. And what what was like your first reaction? It's just heavy in it, bro. Do you know what I mean? Was you in denial to start with, or? It's just heavy, man. Mm. You get me, bro. Um, I feel it from my mum more than anything. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What What was the? What what was your relationship with, with your father before that? I don't really know my dad to be honest, bro. You know what I mean? I can, I can just remember little bits and prison visits and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? How long was he in jail? I was seven when I passed away. Oh. Dad was in jail for years, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So the big sentence. Big sentence, yeah. Do you, do you know what that was for? Or for Some madness, wasn't it? Okay, okay. So, when you now, later on in life, was was um because he committed suicide correct yeah? yeah so when you later on in life was on that same wing when where that that happened how did you feel like what was that like say the first let's, let's let's describe your first day you know this has happened here and you've now been put onto that wing undescribable bro <laughs> did you get me bro like mad bro in it obviously i didn't know what first minute i was coming onto the wing I knew that this would have happened in that jail. Yeah. And um, you know, I must have been on the wing like three days, coming open the door. It was like an old grey officer. Mm -hmm. And then obviously, uh, he was just telling me, blah, 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 I knew your dad and that. Yeah. And I'm like, right, how? And he's like, obviously, um, bam, 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 okay, we can commit suicide on this one, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I was like, push, look at my goosebumps now, G. You know what I mean, bro? Like, so just came down now, and obviously now I'm looking on the wing now, but uh, in a weird way it felt close to my dad, G. felt like this is where my pops took his last steps. Mm. I walked every step of the wing, I walked in every cell every other day. So uh, what I did just, if I ever could, probably close to him. Yeah. And then even then, I, you know, the screws were saying, it's, if you want to move, we'll move you. Mm. Like, because obviously what's going on, but I'm saying now, what'll be here? Because yeah. like, I'm going for dinner, and I'm knowing that that's where my dad went, because exactly. Preston's an old jail and they've kept it old. Yeah. So I'm thinking, my dad took these steps, bro. Yeah. My dad's been on air, so it just felt like close to my dad for once, you get me, bro? And even at night time, bro, I'd feel like, you know, I, I wouldn't believe me if I said it, but... Yeah, man, just it's a mad experience at the same time, bro. It was hard for me, mum, I never asked my mum to visit that prison or anything, because, you get me, bro, you know what I mean? My dad went in there and, you get me, bro, never came out, so, you get me? So do you feel as if, like, now... I've I've heard you reference that like you you kind of doing it for him and you just know we'll be proud of you. Yeah, man, I hope so, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like I feel like your whole family should be proud of you, bro. To be honest with you, bro. Cause, like, if you're listening now, I hope you are proud, pops, man. Cause I'm doing it for you. You know what I mean? I reckon I reckon God I reckon so, man. I reckon everyone around you is proud of you, bro. I'll be yeah, honest man. With you, bro. I hope so. Do you know what I mean? I even if they don't tell me, I know they are. Yeah. It's just probably hard for set man to speak and women and yeah. you got to remember that from the city and my town, but no one's ever done it. So like. People still accept me as me, but all the new stuff, the internet and the cameras, it is a bit mad. Because me back in the day, bro, I would have been like, rah, these fucking rappers, yeah, yeah. fucking what's all this? Like, yeah. it's just like, it's because people don't understand it, bro. So I, I can understand the hate also, what I get, bro. I can fully respect the hate, bro. And I, and I don't hate nobody who's got hate for me. I forgive them, bro. I feel sorry for them. Because I know that people are lost. Just like I was lost. You know what I mean, bro? And God willing, they get found in it and find something in their life bro not just to watch me and be obsessed with me but in the meantime why they're doing that i like it because it's fuel for me bro yeah, yeah. i need haters i love haters yeah, bro yeah. keeps you going please give me some more bro let's get some more i feel the, I feel the same let's way. get them all bro let's I, get them all in a, i feel i feel like i can't lose because i know the haters are watching exactly bro. i cannot lose no, them. You can't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but yeah fuck man. the haters bro whack them all bro Obviously, you've got a song called F Rappers. Yeah, Fuck Rappers, one yeah, of the yeah, hardest yeah. tracks of rock. Very hard. Yeah. Why is it... Why, what's wrong with rappers, bro? Like, it's not even just with rappers or with anything. I'm not even like... I'm a sociable guy, bro. I meet anyone, speak to anybody, but... You know, just at the time, I've just done music. I've came out, I'm doing well. I've had no shout off, no industry, or no artists and stuff. And I've, I've released like three songs from prison. They accumulated like six million views. Surely people have seen me here, man. that? I got out and I didn't even know a studio to go or any way to get on the road of doing music, you know. So I was just basically like, fuck everyone, fuck rappers, you know what I mean? Like, 
fuck that more people aren't showing love because they know I'm the truth mm. you know I'm in every area and I'm everywhere around that doesn't mean like, I'm not trying to be like oh I'm a gangster just mean bro been doing this for years and been doing this street shit it's not new to me I hate it bro but people haven't everyone else is living in a dream world mm. I'm the truth that's mm. why people didn't want to show love so I'm just like fuck rappers I ain't like these dudes mm. Way before I seen a mic or a boot mm. hit headlines, Channel 5 News, yeah, yeah. think I'd give a fuck about likes or views. Yeah, yeah. Nine <laughs> years in jail, spent my life with screws, rap for the estate guy flying in moves. Uh, you get me, bro? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that was my vibe like, fuck that, I'm rapping for the robbers, I'm rapping for the estate. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to support me, cool, bro. Yeah. Fuck rappers, bro. Yeah, yeah. Real rappers look like the best view. So yeah. that was that vibe. But now, maturing a bit and growing up, I feel like I grew up a little bit now. You know, like, now I feel like it's good now, work with everyone. Mm. You know, make friends in the industry, don't just want to be, oh, I'm Jordan, I'm a fucking street guy, bro, it's going to get me nowhere, G. I I want to be like, yeah, I'm Jordan, I've been that person, I'm doing music now, and I want to be approachable, bro. Mm. But, you know what I mean, and everyone, I'd rather work with everyone and earn money because, you know, this ain't going to last forever for none of us. Mm. So we all just need to put the ego and pride to the side get as much money and as all as smash it together, bro. Yeah. It's what I'm trying to tell my team every day, I'm building up my team now of artists, producers, cameramen that I like, because I know that I'm going to go on tour and I want it to be all like-minded people and tell them there's no competition, no bitchiness. One of us might be winning more at the time, but then the other one's going to win. And I know it's just normal for people to feel bitchiness because, you know, I've been that person myself. We all feel competition. We all feel a bit. But, you know, you've got to remember that we're a team. Yeah. So we can feel that between us because, hey, we're going to have to because there's anyone else in the world you're going to meet, you're going to feel that with anyway. Mm -hmm. So better the devil, you know. Mm -hmm. Be with your team on a similar mission and let's move might not be perfect, but I don't want no rightness around me, mm -hmm. no jealousy, and no little weirdos. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, bro? So, hell no. Right, cool. So, saying that you want to be approachable, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you've got a bit of a reputation for being a robber. Yeah. yeah? How how are you able to move around with people not like people not being a, not saying not, not being able to trust you, but I mean yeah. in terms of like they might think, oh, he robbed A B C D. Yeah. Like, how can I have him around or yeah. blah, blah, blah? Like, yeah, yeah, how do yeah. you deal with that? Now, I fully understand that. But at the same time, like, people know now that I've changed a bit as well. Do you know what I mean? And it's not like I'm like, oh, he's got that on there. Let's rob him on the street. Do you know what I mean, bro? Anyone that I've robbed, you know, is... Street shit, basically. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth robbing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, people know me, bro. Like, I'm a genuine guy. Like, bro, give you this T-shirt now. I'll think back if you needed it. Same time, rob another drunk guy, you know what I mean? What did my friend say the other day about me? He says, um, he said, bro, you're the guy who helps the old lady across the, the road, road with yeah. your left hand, yeah. and then you rob the, the other person passing with your right hand. <laughs> he said, yeah. that's how he describes me. Yeah, but yeah. like, obviously, bro, I've got a bad reputation, done a lot of stuff, you know. I'm hoping that everyone from the past and that can understand, yeah, that like, you know, I'm trying to do my music now and do my thing. That was part of my life I was living, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to rob no one now. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm trying to bring people to the city, even yourself, mm -hmm. make people feel comfortable, mm -hmm. offer you an apartment to stay, offer you a chauffeur, offer you food, mm -hmm. be able to just have a little hub. Mm -hmm. So when people come to Manchester, people come to the north, you know, they can shout that and I can organise things for them, organise things for the rappers, for the teams. Mm -hmm. Be a trusted person. Mm -hmm. Not someone I was going to get your art itself and getting robbed. I don't want that, I want trust with people where they're like, right, we'll go to somebody with Charles Jordan, yeah. he'll pattern this, that, 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 as well as whatever else, and yeah. then his drama's come. So that's the image I'm trying to get now. Yeah. And I have got that, I think people trust me, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm making the transition, like I say in the last song, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, so two two questions two questions about jail, yeah. What's the weirdest thing you saw in jail? Like, fucking hell, weird as hell. And what's the saddest thing you saw? <sighs> As you ask that now, I just see a thousand million pictures in it. It's mad, like, I never really thought about the madness. Like, you become so accustomed to, like, Chaos. inhumane yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. that it becomes normalised, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen a thousand people just cutting up, bro. I've seen people hang themselves a hundred times. And there were hundreds, hundreds of people in different jails met them. Kids just killed themselves. Mums and dads are coming on the wing. People are abusing the mums and dads. They're in tears, like crazy stuff, bro. I've seen kids nearly get beat to death off screws, like, you know, I've seen a lot of sad stuff, bro, but some of the saddest stuff I've seen, bro, is when I've seen my brothers go caught and come back with life, do you know what I mean, bro? And, like, sat there with my friends, bro, and they've got 30 years, and what do you say to your mate, bro? 
and he's there bro his girlfriend he knows you know someone else is going to raise his kids bro he knows his kids gonna have another dad he knows his gal gonna get fucked off another man he knows he's never gonna get out so i had to like sh that is the most painful thing for me bro that i've seen of so many lives wasted bro so many bro like over that shit as well but then i'll come out and repeat the same shit but like, now it's time for me to learn bro no one ain't worth a 30 bro none of these little clowns it's about elevating and changing bro no matter how hard it is not just doing what's easy bro because it's easy right now bro can leave here now fuck that smoke anyone but what i've seen a million guys smoke kids body on go jail streets will talk about you for a few weeks you'll be in jail bro your boy will rob your graft someone will get with your baby mum after a month you're no one with this social media in this fast world these days no one don't care about you bro you think you're gonna do this for the estate the estate's that big bro the world is endless now that I've had a few flights, I've been around the world a bit, it opens your eyes, bro. My advice to anyone is to get off your estate and see the fucking world. That's my advice for me. Beef over postcode and the same shots what you're all trying to serve. There's millions of ways to earn money. But, you know, no one could have told me that back in the day, bro. I'll die for you the listen, yeah. Die for it. Yeah. Like, this is my life. That's it. No one's yeah. coming around there. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Whereas yeah. now, bro, wouldn't it? Come on, bro. Yeah. Like, you just have to be like... There's a big world out here and all we do is stay in our city, stay in our town, stay where we're from. The world won't built for that. Most of travel, see the world before you do get life for a fool. And you know, these young kids and that, and I've seen it about a million times, been that, and you get them years. And brother, it's not easy, you know. Everyone might talk about jail, like, yeah, just rid the jail. But every real guy who's listening to this will like, agree, bro, that, brother, it's not a joke, you know, bro. You know, when you're in jail, you might think, yeah, I got a phone, bro, it's not, man. Your heart broke, bro. Yeah. You lost the girl you love. You lost the girl who, the girl of your dreams, you're watching bro. Everyone else enjoy you're watching their life. everyone living every day, and you're sat in this little cell. You're watching the next man do shit there. The sun's beaming in 20 degrees through them plastic sheetings. It doubles it. Your cell's 40 degrees, bro. You're sweating, lying on a little blue mat, eating these little shitty butties, bro. That is not life, bro. And then everyone else on the wing is depressed and sad, and you're all just killing each other over anything, packs of noodles and. Bro, it's a sad world, bro. Like, fuck jail, stay away from there for any cost. If you can, any cost, stay away from prison. So what would what advice would you give to your younger self? Say say you're sitting here, across, the, across and you're sitting at 15-year-old Jordan sitting here right now. In fact, forget 15-year-old wow. Jordan. 13-year-old Jordan. Wow. He hasn't been jail yet, but he's getting up to little fuckery. This is a big question. Let me think about this. Yeah, yeah. Let me not just answer this. Let okay. me think. So you wanna, yeah, go on, go on. Let me think a minute. Cause I'm ADHD that in my head, so I have replied to you faster. <laughs> you know what I tell myself? Yeah, I tell myself like, don't worry about nothing because you can't change anything. What will be, will be. You know, I tell myself that you're not always gonna get the same love you give someone. Don't put so much dependency on a person. Like I get heartbroken all the time. Friends, girls, like I'm a lover. Me, but people with won't me. do what you yeah. do for them. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. so that's crazy. That's what, I was just saying to him, yeah. You know, I get mad at people and fall out with people, or because they don't do the same as what I do for them. But I'd do anything for them. You and jump like, out the window. Most of the drama, the window, exactly. Like, wars I've had and drama. The most of them are old friends. You know, and I love them. And when I be betrayed, bro, I can't handle it, bro. Because I've put so much love into someone, you get me, bro? But anyway, what I tell myself is, bro, one million percent is focus in school, go and get serious qualifications, learn about credit, mm -hmm. learn about banks, learn about mortgages. Because now, even though obviously, bro, you know, I'm doing well, got quite a bit of dough, there's not much you can do with it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to buy gas from that, and banks don't want to hear it. I'm trying to do this, like, I have to buy everything outright, cash, cash, outright, outright, like. I'd learn myself about the world, bro. I wouldn't just be so focused on the streets, do you know what I mean? If I could tell myself now, I'd tell myself, like, go and get an education in something and be the best at it. And then when you leave school or go college, you know, you'll have other options, but learn something and have a legal trade. Because if I didn't have music now, bro, there'd be nothing else for me. Like, I can't do anything else, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, you don't know that. You don't know bro, that. Bro, I can't work, bro. I can't be yeah, around work, yeah, work, I can't, yeah. like... Be told what to do, even though I should be like, I'm so anti authority, it's not good. It, it, I'm embarrassed of myself, how I am. Like, I'm too, like, fuck everything. Like, 
And this is how most of these street kids are going to be. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to hit an age like me, 28, and I'm going for what I'm going to do in my life. So it's best that, you know, you need a qualification, bro. You need to have income. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going trying to get income off the street every day. Where there's a million rats and mischievous people and women, and it's an evil circle. Go and get a bit of pure money. Do you know what I'm saying? That's, do you know what I mean? I tell my younger self, like, believe in yourself, Jordan. Don't let nobody put you down. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, I wish I would have done this music so much earlier, bro. I wish I would have just done it as a kid, bro. Because I'd be on Drake's level now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Uh, cool. So, in music, you speak a lot about, like, your brother and your friends and stuff. Like, what, like, how do they influence you or what, what are they doing with themselves type of thing? Nah, well, like, they're one of my biggest influences, do you know what I mean? That's my team, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, our kid came out. Everyone, man. Like, everyone's gone literal out, man. When I say everyone, it's like 30 of my clothes, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. everyone, bro, has gone, so... For me, bro, I have to try to keep them alive, do you know what I mean, bro? Because, you know, a lot of the stuff... I'm not going to say it's just me, but, you know, probably, like... Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, people, yeah like... And, you know, probably caused most of it myself, mm. so... Sometimes when I'm out here, bro, I feel bad, bro. Did you have survivor's and guilt? Then, it's called, that's course, called survivor's bro. guilt. Is it? Means, yeah, it's called survivor's guilt, which means you're... Everyone else... Everyone else got taken away, wow. but you survived it. But you might have been wow. one of the reasons for it. Nah, that's sick because you know, for me guilt. and my friends and everyone says, "Bro, you're crazy!" Like you've done the same for us. Mm. So like it could have been either way. Yeah, but yeah, for yeah. me, like when I'm living and you know I'm out of town, I'm on holiday and the ringing man, and I'm here on holiday and do you know what I mean, bro? Our kids doing a seventeen, bro. Kane's doing an eighteen. Do you know what I mean, bro? Like my brothers, I wanted them to see life. I wanted yeah, to yeah. have a life. And no matter how much money or whatever I do for them, I'll, I'll never be able to give them their life, bro. So the only thing I can do is keep them alive while they're there. Because yeah. let me tell you something about prison, right? You don't want money. You don't want nothing. You know what you want in prison? You want the world to know you're still there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care if anyone is. You just want the world to know you're still relevant. Because the scariest thing about prison is you just get, you fall into it and you feel forgot about. You can't get older no one. You don't speak to no one. You don't see no one. So you feel like you've forgotten the world and that's a mad feeling I can't describe. Mm. You just want to be, right, people still care about me and you can crack on with your jail. So I'm letting them know, like, no one ain't forgetting about my brothers, bro. The whole world's going to know about them. Then anywhere I go on this journey, they're going to be coming with me, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's but still hard, though. I'll go and see their mums and see their like, families. And I know they don't blame me, bro, innit? But still, I can't help but feel like... I'm seeing the family's lonely, the girlfriend's lonely, and then I'm just out and I'm just living and I just feel like, rah, bro. It's just not fair in a way, innit? But it's not my fault, but obviously, bro, I'm still, I'm here for them. Every time, any one of them that gets up when they get out, every one of them is nice, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got some up for us, I'm gonna be like, right, foot the streets now, you're coming on this music with me. Yeah, yeah. Yo, our kid, you're doing this on the tour. Yo, Kane, you're, look, you're on security. Yeah, Yo, yeah. you, I can give everybody a job now, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. and be like, this is the team come together, so. You know, as Kane says, he says, bro, I'll do 100 years now to the, and start another 100 after it to see you win like this for us. Because it's not just me who's won, bro. I'm just Jordan here, one yeah. person. But behind me, the thousand people I never want to talk about is all the people. And, they, you know, from all the strugglers from the area to everyone behind me who's been through it and who's been part of that story in some way. So this is for all of us, do you know what I mean, bro? So, yeah, man, I, I do feel a lot of guilt, though. I'm not going to lie. All right. So... Let's talk about a film that I saw you feature. Well, no, no, I, the film hasn't come out yet, but basically I've seen that. The, uh, the box set, the series. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's called Jungle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's that. crazy, man. Um, I filmed that last year, bro. Yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a mad experience. Yeah, I'm glad you asked me about that, actually, because I want to speak about that, because even most of my family and friends have only just seen it, now the trailer come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I filmed that a year ago. Okay. Imagine, bro, man, yeah, just yeah. coming out on madness and I got Amazon shouting man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, do you want to come for this role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've written a character in a role and we feel like you could play it. And I'm like, right, me acting. Mm. I'm thinking, yo, I'm saying, yeah, of course, you know, Big Up Junior and Chad, um, the directors who made this happen, you know, for giving man that opportunity. And mm. Junior, one of the most inspirational men I ever met, bro. The living boss mm. in everything he does, you know what I mean, bro? Taught man a lot of things as well, bro. You know what I mean? To help, help man grow up a little bit. Mm. Do you know what I mean, bro? So respect him heavily um, for giving me the opportunity. 
And it was just mad broke, you know, being on movie sets, yeah, yeah, scripts. Yeah. Well, would it be something you'd be like continuing, like with movies and that? Definitely. Yeah, In the yeah, future, yeah. like, of course. But like, bro, it's the best experience ever, bro. Like, every day just getting up, like 30, 40 team, mm. mic, costume, like, yeah. Everyone in, involved is just mint, the script writers, producers, cameras, and every morning we're just going new locations, filming all day, mm. filming in like big mansions and mm. filming like explosive scenes, mm. like bro, some James Bond shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I felt like James Bond. Mm. So you so ever seen Eddie Murphy coming to America? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. That yeah. was like me. Well, so that's that's like, like, I'd like, like taking pictures of all the science. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. hanging out of every car roof. Yeah. I'm here. I was like, everyone knows I'm here. Why is that the first time you've been in London? Nah, nah, okay, nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first time I did go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, especially going to do a musical thing. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. like a some industry, thing, yeah. yeah. So I felt like I'm top of the world, bro. Like, big up Amazon, looks after us different there. Got your own show for, put you up in any hotel, yeah. come and get you anywhere. And you know me, bro. Yeah. I've ended up going out partying, yeah. in the clothes everywhere. And then after like a week, I'm getting pissed off. I want to go home. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, fuck this acting shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't care about the money. How long was you there for? Months, bro, back and forth, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah coming yeah, yeah, down, yeah, yeah. filming, coming home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for months, for about six months. Mm -hmm. It was just a different experience, bro. Like, acting, acting to learn it. And, like, yeah, it's yeah. a craft, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, think, you can just walk on set and act, you can't. You got but, more respect for the actors because of that? Massive respect, bro. Yeah, yeah. Massive, because they work hard. And yeah, it's long hours, you know. Because yeah, yeah. you've got 30 people on one scene now. Mm. If one person does something wrong, start again. Start again. And it's happening all day. There's better tension, better arguing. Yeah, people are upset, people are fighting. But then when it's come back together, just how we just, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, good, there's something worth having. It's not easy to get, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. But I loved it, bro. Just the, the genuine experience of acting, being on the set, meeting them directors and them creative people, bro. It just installed something in me, bro. Yeah. And it's just made me be like, one day I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, and you know, when this jungle comes out, bro, it's going to change the world, bro. Like, I'm a fan of crime documentary series stuff like that. I'd always pick that over anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we all would. Same, yeah, same, yeah, yeah, we like yeah, a bit too. of gritty, don't we? But this is the only thing what I think portrays England, bro. Okay. We've never been portrayed. Nah, nah. We've got London portrayed. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, I was about to say, I think, I think Top Boy does is is kind of. Now, big old Top Boy has, top has boy realistic bits, but, but this was this was filmed in Manny. Nice like film in London. Nice film in London. Yeah, yeah. But right. you saying that only London gets betrayed? So what do you no, mean? no, no. Because only it, London people get betrayed. No, what I meant a minute ago was it betrays like the real Britain. Like you have me from the north. Yeah. You have other people who are not announced yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who are in it from Brum? Okay. They got yeah, Brum. Yeah. 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 And uh, even people from London, people from different parts of the UK, it shows like what the UK is. Yeah, yeah. It's so gritty. Like Top Boy's sick. I'm not yeah, putting it down, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, everything's sick. It's all good. But this is like gritty. This yeah, is the yeah. This is real life where mum was doing the scenes and watching it back, bro, getting cold shivers. Yeah, yeah. But I'm knowing like any man of a fan of this kind of stuff is going to love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm excited for that to come out, bro. Um, so I'm not going to have to tell them for like a year. Mm. So now it's finally here. It's coming out. It. Premiere next week, bro. Swear. Going to a red carpet, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's bro. mad, that's mad, that's Come mad. on, bro. That's progress, bro. Red carpet, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Taking my mad dudes, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's progress. Leicester Square, innit? That's progress, bro. Come on, red carpet, me. You Come on, bro. <laughs> we're winning, bro. Yeah, Daddy, we're winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good, man. But yeah. All right, cool. So, um... Say you want to, you want to, you continue the acting thing and you do more acting roles. Yeah, right? definitely. Let me, ask you, let me ask you a funny question. Would you play a, a, a role in a film that you didn't agree with in real life oh an example like a, a snitch role yeah the money was right yeah, in it because yeah, yeah. it's active yeah it's acting yeah do you yeah, know what yeah, i'm saying yeah, yeah. I that same way like i don't know but you know i would it's money bro yeah, and it's yeah, acting yeah. do you know what i mean bro yeah, yeah. It'd have to snitch, it'd have to be like a certain snitch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't playing six, nine, bro. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah it'd yeah, have yeah. to at least do something. Yeah, 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 that's the active one, <laughs> yeah. it? it just tells at the end. Bro, <laughs> fucking, yeah, like, I'd play anything, to be honest, bro, because I just love that scene, even now, if, even if I never get big budget things like that, I want people, if anyone watches this interview, to know I'm open to any acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just loved it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to write some of my own stuff on that. Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon you'll get I reckon you'll get calls. For I feel like I can give a, a perspective because I've really seen stuff. Yeah, and exactly. I, so I want to did sit down with directors because help out with scenes and oh, stuff. Because just that, so you can probably help direct the film. Exactly, yeah. Do some yeah. real life type of things that's happened. Amen. And that, rather yeah, than yeah. like these people that are having, just watching movies and stuff, you get me? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So let's go on to your tape. 
Yeah, man. Crocs and Queens. That's what I've been waiting for. Let's let's so, talk about the tape. All right, cool, cool. My so, first yeah, tape. Yeah, your first tape. This ever. needs gassing up. Yeah, yeah, gas yeah, literally, this, literally. Like, it's my first tape, people. Yeah, whoever's watching. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to do a tape since I started music for a year ago. But obviously, I had to go away and whatever, and Corona, and I've never got to put a tape out. Yeah. Have you made tapes before, though? No. Okay, okay. okay. No, no. What I mean by made tapes is in like actually. Tried to put it out, then Corona hit, or I mean, I no, mean, like, no, no, like I just had the songs yeah, and yeah, had the yeah, thoughts because yeah, yeah, yeah. you got a mixtape called Memoirs of the Psychopath, yeah, yeah, yeah. but now I'm putting out an EP, yeah, yeah. it's called Crooks and Queens, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's 10 hits, so yeah. I'm not joking, like 10 anthems. Anthem, That's why I'm not stressing yeah, yeah. to go out now and to be getting, even if they're cancelling the shows, taking my songs down, I don't care. Mm. So when the tape comes, the wave that will come, mm. you know, it's real music, bro, from my soul. You can't deny it. Mm -hmm. Some of it's a little bit commercial for me fans might think. But, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. but I wanted to make them kind of songs. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to be crooks and queens. It's mm -hmm. for the crooks and yeah, it's for the queens yeah, that go with yeah, it with yeah. us. Because they're the real soldiers there, you know. Mm -hmm. The women and the yeah, mothers yeah, yeah. here with the stuff. We gonna do what they want, but they really pick up the pieces. Mm -hmm. They they stick it out with us. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're the real backbones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With this I've spoke a lot about women and the things they go through and this because Felt like I had to, I never have before. Mm. I have a lot of women fans and real women who come from this shit, bro. As much as we're involved, they're involved, bro. They're riding with us to the death. So, big up all the real street girls out there, do you know what I mean, man? Yeah, so everyone supporting the men, everyone being loyal, everyone supporting someone in a bad place. Like, big up them kind of women, because, you know, that's just what it's about, man. You know what I mean? So, more into the tape. So, you've done, you've done some uh, commercial things. You've got yeah. classic Jordan. Yeah. So, what's the percentage of, like, what the fans are going to want to hear and then what you'd say is commercial as you were saying i don't know like i think the fans will love that as well it's yeah, not yeah. too commercial but i've listened to a lot of songs now with hooks and stuff okay yeah. got a lot of artists in uh, who i like and um yeah i've just made some like i didn't try to make relevant songs what i think oh this this will pop off oh yeah, that'll go on yeah. tiktok yeah like yeah, yeah. i don't respect everyone that does that yeah. but for me it was just like I wanted to give a proper tape where someone plays it, feels it. Yeah. I want them to cry. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, emotion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I spoke about things I don't even like speaking about. I spoke about everything. Like mm -hmm. I let it out because who am I to deny history, bro? Mm -hmm. Even if I don't want to speak about certain shit, even on this interview, mm -hmm. like I have because if I don't ever tell it, one day I'm not going to be here, bro. Yeah, Who's yeah, going to yeah. tell my story? Exactly. And I can keep being proud like oh, I don't want to talk about that. Nah, fuck that. Nah, bro. Mm -hmm. Time comes a time where this is out of my hands now. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done some that the world supported me back, mm. so I have to now carry on to yeah. the next and, stage. And I think you've been supported because of the transparency. Exactly. That's what I think. Really. So with the tape, bro, I've got absolute anthems on there. I'm not joking, I can't wait for it to drop. That's my first tape, and then with that, off the back of that, I'm going to do a tour. Mm. And then for months, I'm just going to go around the world and I'm shutting my tape everywhere. And yeah. then watch this, I'm coming to a city near you. Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. coming every city with my van like this. I'm mm -hmm. selling physicals. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Physicals I, are where it's at. That's why I've not done much interviews or much things because I've not got credentials. Mm. People asking me to come here, yo, do this. I've got nothing to talk about. Just nah. crying and this and that. Where yeah, now nah. I can be like, right, I've got I'm a body of work yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, let's chat. Let's chat. How did I make this? I want to be more musical. Yeah. I want people to respect me as a musician, as a writer, as a director. Like, I don't want to just be respected for being a madman or a George. Yeah, he's a madman. Nah, man. I want people to be like, okay, that's one side of that. But please, take in my music. Yeah. Even if you like me, even if you don't, my music, you'll feel it because I've written it from my heart. So whether you like me or not, this is real heart music. Yeah. You're going to feel it. It's going to touch you. You're going to get goosebumps. And it's a nice experience. You play this tape. It's got a bit of everything on it, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Gasp, I'll release my first single, Little Autumn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Dublin on 16th to shoot the video. Maverick and Danny Boy. Maverick and Nasty. Yeah. Danny Boy. I don't know if I can say that, but I've said yeah. it. And anyway. Um, how's, your, how's your relationship with Morrison? Because I've seen, obviously, you've got songs in there, etc. Yeah. And it seems like you got a good relationship. Like, One million percent, bro. Like, what uh, made you not click? I don't know, you know, bro. Mm. To be honest, you know, and sh I've always wanted to do a song with him. Mm. Even being honest, mm. even before the music, day, yeah, ease, before yeah. the music, like I'd always listen to like Morrison all the time, bro. And I've always respected him as like the OG of the game. Mm. Do you know what I mean, yeah, bro? Yeah. Like, and the East End, a bit like Salford, yeah. little little swaggy guys, little robbers, yeah, like yeah. sort of the same yeah, similar yeah. thing. And, I don't know, bro, since we met, like, I've got mad love for Morrison, bro, like, massive respect, that's my brother, bro, like, literally, you get me, bro, brought my name, brought me up there, come down here, shot the video, and it's deeper than that, like, he knows my mum, I've met his mum, mm -hmm. you get me, bro, you know, 
his family, his sisters, and he knows my family, like it's love, bro. Do you know what I mean? Whenever he comes here, he's welcome at my house. That's, yeah. that's my brother. Yeah. But whatever, a lot of rappers and that, but you know, that, tell that's you himself that's, that's different. That's yeah, my guy, yeah, bro. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like that's someone I really want to see win. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, really, yeah. bro. But sometimes you know I mean? in this, sometimes in this, like in this, when you meet people and that. Some people become it becomes more than just music and just a, a mm. friendship that we have developed through like work and mm. that. You know what I'm saying? Some people you just gel with. And with Morrison, that, we've been, looks like it we've been through a lot of mad shit together as well. Do you get mm. me, bro? I like, yeah, man. That, trust me, bro. That's one clean hearted guy. That's one real soldier as well, bro. More than people will know. Do you know what I mean? And he deserves his flowers, bro. Yeah, they yeah. got Morrison every time. Do you get me, bro? Yeah, yeah. That's my brother, man. And he's bringing me out as well at Leeds. Obviously, okay. the interview will be out after that, so yeah, I can yeah, say it now. Yeah. But he just shouted me the other day, bro. He's bringing me out of Leeds and Reading Festival. Okay. I've got my first festival. Yeah, yeah, Do you get me, bro? I reckon that's, that's, that's going to go off, man. man. I reckon that's going to yeah. go off. Bro, I, I think he's... I, I don't know if you... I, when I say I think you sleep on how many fans you have here, yeah, I feel as if, like... I don't know if you feel... Obviously, he's, when I say he's still on the come-up, yeah, I, I mean... I don't think you're still on the come up, bro. What I mean no. by that is, you are in terms of like obviously, but I, I think mean, it's the low self esteem, bro. Yeah, bro. I've been through some mad shit, bro, where, like no matter who's supporting, I'll be happy like this for a day. Yeah. But then tomorrow, bro, I might wake up and I delete Instagram. I'll change my number, won't speak to one person, not even my mum, and I just go into dark places, bro. Because I've been through some like, people that I love, trust, and everything for, bro. Fucks about, can never like. It's hard, bro, man. when meet friends and do things and one thing can trigger something because yeah, yeah. I've had so much mad shit happen. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to do this music, one little thing can trigger something yeah, yeah. and that's it, bro. I'm just gone for weeks. Yeah, I just yeah. get the money and think, you know what, fuck this, I'll go. Yeah. I just go with mad log cabins, go on holidays, be on my own, yeah. meeting new people because I'm just like, well, I'll get away from the world, bro. These cities, the party, and the, the music, the Instagram, it's just too much, bro. But I meet some normal people, what I live. I just think fuck the world sometimes, bro. It's evil. I don't even want to be in it, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Who would you say like your inspirations are? Inspirations. Mm. Let me think about this. Obviously, the cliche one, Tupac and Biggie, yeah, which yeah. it really is, you know. Like, However. But, uh, no, you no. said though, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. you're not gonna challenge it. You no. said I grew. Up, I didn't want to yeah. be like Tupac. No, I didn't no, want to be like no, Biggie. no. I know, but I hear you, yeah, because. I was writing that bar, mm. and I was actually on the wing with my mate at the time, Dag, big up Dag. Mm. And you know what? I, I was writing the bar, hitting out the Billy Licks, and then it just come like, never wanted to be big as a little kid, never mm. wanted to be too big as a little kid. I was just trying to make a thing of, we didn't want to be like rappers, yeah, wanted yeah. to be like the rappers. big rubbers yeah, who had yeah, heard yeah, about yeah, yeah. in the city, like, do you know what I mean? So, so it's more, it was more like uh, metaphoric. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because, but then like, musically, they did inspire me a yeah, lot. I'm yeah, glad we got that there, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you said that. But anyway, so then, um, mostly it'd be Woody Lowe, because mm. how I'd literally listen to rap. Mm. I was going to visit years ago to visit my brother Park mm. um, with one of his mates and my mum. And on the way out the visit, the pastor's ECDs and gone, oh, you can't have them in. But they won't even ask someone else to under them in. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. my brother's mates just took them and given me. Yeah, yeah. And it had the biggest, greatest hits, two packs and Woody Lok. Woody, Woody Lok inspired me more than everyone. No one thought rappers going to go, when I rap it ain't a fucking joke. Hardest it's Woody Lok. Yeah, but I, I didn't know who that is. Nah, though. Woody Lok's a legend. That, that guy's inspired my whole life, bro, okay, like, okay. in music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from... Um, Antioch, Northern California. Okay, yeah, he's yeah, only yeah. just started getting millions of views now, like eight years after he died. Oh, Blew his own now. head off. He cut years ago. himself? Yeah, bro. Okay. Do your research. No one got no Northern yeah. Exposure 1, 2, 3, or 4. Yeah, Producer yeah. made all the tapes himself on house arrest. So done. Oh, he's just like, the, he's, a, he's a G, bro. He's like the only white guy in the whole Mexican gang. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he's 30, bro. Yeah, and not yeah. just that. His music's real. It's from his heart, bro. Yeah. Trust me, Woody Lope, bro, one of the hardest rappers. And no one don't know about him. I used to buy the old school tapes and that. Do you get me, bro? Yeah. So, like, yeah, man. As someone as well in the future of my music, I want to try highlight. Because then I know that even though he's died and years yeah. later, someone from the UK yeah, has yeah. heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I'm, you're still in me, bro. Yeah, you're yeah, here with yeah, me, yeah. part of me. And hope, hopefully that I'll bring his family some solace. I yeah, think, like, yeah, yeah. you know. Keep his, someone's keeping his legacy going yeah. with this much of a fan base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And obviously Liam Gallagher, don't forget, man. Do you know what I mean, bro? I like the rock music yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Big up so Oasis. Don't look back in anger. Yeah. I, I heard, heard you say. say. No, I am, bro, bro I'm Pat Trey's man. Bro, 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 you know just what I seen him the other day? Swear down? I swear down. Etty had, and you know me, I'm a United fan, yeah, so you yeah, know. Yeah. I was always, there was, there was beef territories right there. Etty had, yeah, uh, that's a city fan. Uh, but now nah, I went there. 
uh, from the mate Lee and that, they got brother got me a ticket and that, yeah. Mm. And those that are lovely, yeah. you know what I mean? It's random one day, I brought Liam Gallagher's on, got you a ticket. I was like, nah, <laughs> yes. I've always wanted to see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, went to watch Liam Gallagher, that was sick, bro. Yeah. Him, yeah, if I could say the biggest inspirations, because a lot of people ask me that, but if I'm being 100% real, like, no one else in the world, yeah. Not even like Jay-Z, no, no one like, even Eminem, no one like inspires me, bro. Yeah, like Liam Gallagher and Tyson Fury, bro. Serious? Serious. And you got you got a good relationship with Tyson Fury? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Tyson's yeah, my brother, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not just saying it to like Lucas, bro, but you know, I love that man, bro. Yeah, yeah. The man that he is, the way he puts himself out to the world, like the way he is with his family. Yeah. That makes me feel more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, like when I started yeah. doing music, I was thinking, fuck that, look how Tyson is. Yeah, Still stays, well, stays jits, yeah, And he yeah, says yeah. what he wants, be what he wants. Yeah. That inspires people like me. Yeah, yeah. So he calls himself the Gypsy King. Yeah, bro, yeah, he yeah, is yeah, the Gypsy yeah. King, bro. Okay, and yeah, I'll yeah. stand on that now, yeah. bro, and die over it with anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got, bro, I'll, I'm giving out free smoke over Tyson. <laughs> Trust me, that's, I love him. Yeah, and like, seriously, bro, the way you think about how much money he's made, yeah. and he's never changed. Guy lives in Morecambe. Where's, Mor- where's it Morecambe? Morecambe's in Lancaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying that. to give up the location. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but someone like, you've got to understand that kind of money. If you've got that, even myself, would I just get off? Yeah, yeah. You know, he stays around, he yeah. loves his family. You know, the way he loves his fans, like that kind of stuff inspires me yeah. to be a better artist yeah, and yeah, be yeah. like that. And gives me the confidence to remain me. Yeah, like, yeah. be me, be yeah. who you are because. Someone will love you for you, bro. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, man. So big up, like, to be honest, like, yeah. You know, in my studio, that's the only people I have pictures of. My mum, Tyson and Liam Gallagher. Okay. They're yeah, the people who inspire me and love me and give me strength not to change. Yeah, yeah, Do you know what I'm saying, bro? And big up Tyson, man. I love that guy to death. Supports my music all the time. He doesn't have to support me, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Got massive respect for him, bro. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so that's who you say your inspirations are, yeah? Yeah, man. All right, cool. So, who did you, who, what mixtapes was you growing up listening to? All the old packs, bro, like Immortal Technique. Yeah, 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 I know. Jack or Ampacino, yeah, yeah. all the West Coast shit. It's a West Coast, shit. man, yeah, All yeah, the yeah, West yeah. Coast. That's like Brum, Brum's yeah, West Coast. all the yeah, West Coast yeah, yeah. shit, do you know what I mean? You like, like, like Mozzie now, innit? Cool. Yeah, Mozzie's cool. Mozzie's cool. Yeah, cool. Oh. get me Mozzie's number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell, okay. So I actually made contact now anyway, like, do you know what I mean? Mozzie. Yeah, well, we yeah. spoke through his manager and yeah, that, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, you, you, you can get to him. That's what I'm saying, so. You see, yeah, man, it's, it's the links there when yeah. man's ready in it yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Who, you, who, who would you be? Who would be a dream feature right now? Dream feature. Yeah, yeah. Pass. If people who are dead or De- oh. one dead, one alive. One dead with Woody Loke, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And one alive. Kanye West. Ooh, Has interesting. To be. Why? Have to be. Why? Why can't? I was gonna you? say about people that my brain made me go no. I was, I was gonna be say honest, not, Liam, not, not Liam Gallagher. Oh my god! <laughs> really? Come on, bro. You say Liam nah, Gallagher? Nah, fuck bro. that, Liam. I don't know it has to be. But I was thinking rap feature. Nah, oh, man. Feature, any, man. Anyone, yeah, bro. yeah. Fuck Kanye then. <laughs> 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 Liam, that <laughs> Liam. You know what I mean? That standard. You're right there. So Woody Loke and Liam Gallagher. I'm manifesting that from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that'll happen, man. Don't worry. Man. All yeah, right, cool, yo. I just wanna say, big, big respect for coming through. Thank Obviously, you. you had a little. Nah, you know, minor, got, bro. Forget all that. I've had fights for most of my mates. So that, so Come that, on, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's normal, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Either way, I wanna thank you for coming through. Yeah, man. I really appreciate it. You get yeah. me. Top men to the ends and that. Respect, it's bro. love, bro. It's love, nah, bro. Any time, and any time you're in the city, bro, I mean it. Yeah, it's, it's, trust me, it's good, good to meet you, bro. And your whole team is yeah, there, yeah. mean this, bro. Yeah. I'm not the saying it, rapper, say it. Whenever you come, you give us a day notice, yeah, yeah. bro. We'll have your accommodation, yeah. transport, and anything you need. you know what I mean, yeah, bro? He said to man, yo, 24 hours notice. Anything. I'll be in that. I shouted just 24 hours later. You told me, yeah, yo, man. post call. When I come Birmingham, I want the same hospitality. What? Bro, yeah. that's normal, bro. I right. swear to God. I'm going to have hood rats for the big back. <laughs> <laughs> I got no fever. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm married. We've got to take risks, yeah? Yeah, man. Make sure everyone is supporting it. Supporting the clothes. We only really, you know what I mean? We're risk takers out here. Support Appreciate the cause, it, man. man. Appreciate big it, man. Up. Yeah? Respect. Bless, bro. Love, bro. Love.